I just love the fact that like I really feel like I have control. It's Jazz, Min, Nicole, and welcome to Wait With Jazz, a safe space for the obese, the overweight, those who just want to lose weight, and myself to share our weight loss journeys, and a little bit of my life too. I used to be 284 pounds 12 years ago. I lost 115 pounds through intermittent fasting and running. That got me to about 175 pounds, and I chose to pursue the 40 plus pounds through GOP-1 medication, Zepbound brand, and currently Terzepatide compound. So I'm on the 7.5 Terzepatide compound as a maintenance dose. So I weekly inject 3.75 milligrams of Terzepatide compound. This is my week two update in maintenance. As I am in my goal weight, of 130 pounds and that is the weight that I am maintaining so the last weigh-in of course I was 130 pounds I made it to my goal weight and um, this is week two I have sustained for two weeks and I am still weighing in at 130.0 uh, so it looks like what I've been doing has been working. I'm able to maintain the 130 pounds for two weeks so far. So I'm excited about that. That's an uh, achievement, okay? I have not made variations really to my routine. So I really attribute this to my routine. I've kept it in place. I still intermittent fast, um, and when I refeed, I refeed well on healthy foods. I have varied my carb consumption though, so I did increase my carb, moderately still low carb, um, but I increased the amount, and it's more of the complex carb, so you know I'm, I'm getting more of the healthier carbs rather than the refined carbs. Um, I'm still okay with my one meal a day, so I'm refeeding in that one meal a day with something you know that's fully packed with every bit of macronutrients that I need. Um, still plant-based, pescatarian, so I'm still incorporating my seafoods, um, as well as my other plant-based, um, alternative meats and I'm you know focusing on just consuming more fiber and um, just intuitively eating and, um, and not focusing so much on eating as well and I love that this medication is allowing me not to do that in combination with my lifestyle habits I um, am not thinking about food that's not on the forefront of my mind. And when I do eat, I still enjoy, I'm satiated, and I still indulge in the goodies that I want. I just, you know, I'm selective with my goodies. I indulge in the goodies that are appropriate to maintain my weight. I want to maintain my weight. I'm okay with fluctuating between 130 pounds and 135 but I don't want to go beyond 135 pounds. Um, <clears throat> I am still exercising, you know, but I'm not doing, you know, heavy cardio and I'm doing it very moderately. So I'm glad I didn't do a, a large influx in calories. Like that was my initial plan um, to do an influx of like 1800, you know, calories and then eventually pushing it to 2000. And it's nothing wrong with that because, you know, there are plans for that, you know, based on your level of activity. I still maintain my activity of weight training, um, but clearly that didn't affect me as far as losing weight. And 
I'm clearly I, I wasn't below my deficit, although some days I did feel like I was just below my deficit. I felt like I was probably 200 calories, um, not the deficit, uh, below my uh, set calorie intake for maintenance. I just felt like I was below it. <laughs> I feel like I was like, I'm like 200 calories below what I feel like I am. I'm sitting here trying to eat some more, you know, sugar-free chocolate or whatever, but not tricking too much, just, you know, but keeping my maintenance calorie in mind and not trying to be in a deficit so I, so that I lose weight. I wanted to see how this was going to play out. So obviously two weeks later, it played out um, pretty well and I... Like I said, I had the only change really I made was increasing my carb count, and it felt good to do that. Um, I enjoy being low carb, but I, I don't have to be extremely low carb. I'm okay with being moderately, moderately low carb. That's fine for me, and that's fine for my digestion. Um, <clears throat> intuitively eating, still, you know, at the end of the day, like I intermittent fast, but at the end of the day, if my body tells me to feed, I'm going to feed. Um, and I'm glad I had that level of control. Time and um, commitment and diligence to sticking with um, a lifestyle and routine gave me that level of control. Um, I, and I do believe I can still practice it regardless. Um, but, you know, it's just good to know I that this, this, this medication is, it has a lot to do with it too, still. Um, so I'm still, you know, riding on the back of these meds. <laughs> these meds are, are working well for me for maintenance. This is the right dose. I'm glad I, I found the right dose. It, and it, it takes trial and error, folks, sometimes with this. Everybody's uh, plan and, 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 and body type and all that is not the same, the reaction is not going to be the same so we although we share our, our experiences and our journeys we do not need to try to mirror them just go with what's working for you um i'm going what's working for me regardless of others uh judgments and you know opinions and whatnot i gotta go with my personal that personal data shows me based on my digestion and based on what i'm observing what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. So um, I'm seeing that my fasting is a great component in me maintaining my weight. <laughs> People talk down against it, but do what works for you, boo, because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do me. And this has it's been working for me for over twelve years. I've been fasting. Um, I've been one meal a day in with the occasional of course, you know an extra meal when I want here and there, you know, like I vary off of it, you know, depending on how I feel, my lifestyle, whatnot, but then, you know, I get back on to my typical regimen. Um, I can be flexible, but I know my grounded foundation is, you know, fasting, doing my one meal a day, and then, you know, refilling on that good amount of calories and macronutrients that works for me, and I'm going to stick to what works. Um, I just love the fact that like I really feel like I have control now like I have mental control I don't have food anxiety um, and I'm happy in my skin I'm happy at the weight that I am I feel healthy I feel energetic I feel uh, clear mind I mean clear headed Y'all, this is it. So as long as this medication is available, I will be on it. <laughs> and, and I'm not, you know, and, um, and I'm not feeling the type of way about it. It just is what it is. It works. And if it isn't broken, why, why fix it? If it works for you, you know, do what works for you, um, regardless of all the opinions that are out there. Um, I'm slim, so what? If you want to put a name on it, put a name on or whatever, but I'm me. 
you know, and this is me. I have not changed. My personality has not changed. At least I don't think it has. <laughs> um, it's just that, you know, I'm really where I want to be now aesthetically. And I enjoy maintaining it. It's not like I feel anxiety with trying to keep this weight off. Like it's a chore, like it's a task, uh, it's, it's so difficult. It's really not difficult. It really feels, e it feels easy. It definitely feels easy, it really does. And, and that's because I have conditioned myself into a lifestyle, okay? And also because the medication is aiding as a helpful aid. But it's not just solely the medication because I'm, I'm on a split dose, I'm on a smaller dose. I have leeway to eat beyond my allowance. I can tell I can. Um, it still kicks in, but if I want to push past it, I can tell I can. Even without, without extreme um, side effects. I have. I, I felt the level of bloat. I felt full. Um, and I, I've eaten past the amount that I would have been able to eat past if I was on the full dose of 7.5, okay? If I was, you know, in my weight loss mode on the full doses, I would not be able to eat, you know, pretty much my full meal. I like to eat as much as my meal as, as I can. I want all of the nutrients. I'm not trying to leave um, a remainder unless, you know, my body really doesn't need it. I'm eating one meal a day, so I really need all my nutrients. So I like to consume as much of my meal as possible. And I'm able to do that um, without being, you know, limited on my split dose. Um, but my body still sends me the signal of being really full. And I know the medication has to do, you know, like, not like super full, but being full. And I know my medication has something to do with that too. So is there is still working the suppression still is in place moderately and at the maintenance level you know as what it needs to be and i'm good like i'm good like this thing really is it's it it's working and i hope you guys are getting closer and closer to your maintenance so y'all can experience the feeling too um, and see that it's coming together. It's coming together. You're in, in the likeliness that you can maintain your weight. You can maintain your weight successfully on this medication. And even if you had to be off the medication, you can maintain it successfully if you keep your lifestyle habits in place, keep a routine in place, even in maintenance. Maintenance doesn't mean you just go off the deep end. Had I just did a strong influx of calories, the wrong eating the wrong types of foods, honestly, um, I would have had more gain, weight gain. I know that. Although I'm okay with fluctuating between 130 and 135, I don't want to see such a, a high increase in weight gain based off that. Because then I know, like, going further is going to get me um, you know, more. I know I'm weight training and I uh, want to leave room for possible weight fluctuation through muscle mass gain, okay? Because your girl, boom, your girl, you know, backside, you know, coming through, you know, for my slim self. Um... So I would I expect to probably see a fluctuation. So I'm okay between the 130, 135. But not going beyond that. And it's okay to want to stay at your weight. Okay. It's okay. Don't get caught into the negative connotations on focusing on maintaining your weight and it being on your mind. Listen, weight management is a permanent mental task just as feeding yourself is every day you gotta feed yourself for the most part or you know 
you feed yourself for the most part. That's the, the, the standard person feeds themselves every day. Although, like I said, you can fast and da da da. But anyway, yeah, the standard person feeds themselves every day. Okay, so eating, weight management, the idea of keeping an uh, um, an idea of your calorie count is something that is just you should accept, and it's something you just have to do for the rest of our lives, you know? But that doesn't mean be so obsessive, you know, but just be mindful on eating the right way. So when you get conditioned in eating a certain way, certain type of foods, for example, plant whole food, plant-based, plus your, you know, your, your, uh, your carnivore proteins, if you're a carnivore, it's nothing wrong with eating meat. Um, or if you're pescatarian, that's fine. Or if you're vegetarian, you know, or if you're vegan, focus on your proteins, you know, focus. You're gonna fold, you're still gonna have to keep in mind the food that you intake, the calories, and your weight if you wanna manage your weight. So, I, I mean, you know, if you wanna maintain your weight, that's what I meant to say. Um, I wanna maintain my weight, I'm successfully maintaining my weight, you dig? <laughs> And I'm gonna to continue to maintain it. This is gonna be week check-in after week check-in, honey, um, because I, I want to see that I can really successfully maintenance this way. Long-term, long-term maintenance. But I wanna see that I can really do it and do it comfortably because I'm feeling super comfortable, y'all. I'm feeling super comfortable and I'm really feeling myself, okay? I hope you guys are too. Drop in the comments, where are you at in your journey? Are you close to maintenance? Are you in maintenance? Are you just beginning? Okay, all of it is good. All of it is good. I love to hear back from the community. Thanks for tuning in. I'll get at you the next video and be real.